October 15 marks a significant day for our rural women. It recognizes their contribution and critical role in enhancing agricultural and rural development, improving food security, and eradicating rural poverty in their families and communities. The Ministry of Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation embarked this celebration in the Lomaviti Group. The celebration was held on the island of Ngao and Nairai. Apart from the main celebrations, the Ministry distributed sewing machines to both islands. This also led to the opening of the new canteen for the women's group in Nawekama village in Ngao. Certificates were also awarded to participants who underwent sewing skills training. Also a significant aspect of the celebration was the commemoration of the Senior Citizens Day, where close to 200 senior citizens of Ngao and Nairai were awarded gifts. Yeah, today is a deal event where we celebrate uh, International Day for Rural Women and also for the International Day for Older Persons. Uh, but more than the event, it's a uh, grand opportunity to bring uh, close to people uh, services of uh, essential services of government, which includes uh, BDM, uh, legal aid, uh, NSEC, uh, substance abuse, and the uh, fight uh, to eliminate uh, drug usage and the use of um, addictive substances in Fiji. Accompanying the delegation were other government agencies who also provided services. So there is a uh, cocktail of services by the government <coughs> on a uh, coordinated platform whereby these services uh, reach the uh, rural communities uh, and enable them to, to be informed of what is available by the government, uh, to have the uh, applications done on site, uh, to have uh, uh, births of the children registered, uh, even to have civil marriages uh, and opportunities uh, to question about uh, the legal uh, rights uh, and also to be exposed uh, to the uh, other opportunities, uh, income generating opportunities available within the, uh, within the budget, within the uh, uh, agencies of government. Apart from the two celebrations, the Ministry sees events such as these as an important one in centralizing all government service in taking it to the people. So it's a lovely platform. It's very enriching, inspiring to people. Uh, it's within the, uh, the uh, big mandate of the government. They will leave no one behind. Uh, it's quite inclusive uh, in nature and uh, more so that uh, the services are done by the very people who are the experts in their area and also a grand opportunity from our side of things to uh, unite uh, or to build a powerful network across all the civil service agencies. Like all communities around the country, challenges and issues will always be an intricate part of our lives. Overcoming these challenges only makes us stronger. One of the uh, big concerns has been the issue about um, uh, the accessibility uh, to services. I know the issue about roads in Ngao, but that's been taken care of. Uh, and, the, and there are difficulties where communities have in the reaching some of the essential services. For the Ministry, sessions such as these are important as this gives the people the opportunity to interact with various government agencies on their various issues. Yes, the issue was the raised up was the issue about uh, uh, income generation for women, uh, the financial literacy training that should be done by women, uh, and also access to some of the basic services uh, for that matter. Eh? Like all women artisans around the country, finding a sustainable market is a challenge and the Ministry is always looking at ways of addressing this problem. We are now uh, venturing out uh, into some of the uh, overseas partners that we have uh, to create, uh, to ensure that uh, women connect uh, to such sustainable markets. Eh? Uh, the results of the Expo have shown that uh, some of the women have now uh, realized their dreams. They now have markets, they now have uh, sustainable uh, income uh, for their family livelihoods. Eh? And we also have uh, a number of models that uh, we are looking to adapt in Fiji. And one of them is the uh, Bangladesh model, uh, Siputra model. 
uh, for that matter, and also the uh, the uh, Chinese uh, model as well. So combination of the two, I think, would be just right for the women of our country. By taking celebrations such as these out to the communities, the rural women will be able to increase their knowledge on the activities and importance of their role they play considering the challenges they face. Uh, the government has a lot of opportunities made available and I think it's only right that uh, people utilize them to the best. Uh, government will invest in a sustainable uh, business opportunity. Uh, government uh, is very much against free handout. It's very much against uh, uh, just receiving things and not be able to, to sustain it for the betterment of their livelihood, uh, for that matter. And it's encouraging our people to be able to stand up, to be resilient, uh, because by doing that, we'll be able to alleviate poverty, we'll be able to alleviate hunger, we'll have ensure this proper nutrition for the children, we'll ensure the family's uh, livelihood are sustained. The other important uh, thing from this is, is the power of the women. Uh, that women are the big changes uh, as far as the elimination of poverty, hunger, and also in climate change. Uh, and the recognition by the community of the role that women play. Uh, it's no hidden secret. It's a written uh, uh, testimony that uh, women contribute powerfully towards the economy of our nation. And uh, giving that a space to, that uh, we allow for gender equality, that we conquer gender inequality, you know, we, in a nutshell, we'll be able to give that necessary space for women so that they will be able to, um, to have those creative uh, opportunities uh, for economic gains, uh, for their own families, for their communities, and for the community, for the country, for the matter. Uh, we are preparing now for the next uh, Women's Expo, and already the women now are, uh, are rising up for the next uh, Divisional Craft Show, which is happening in November, uh, and they all are tuned for that matter. Okay? But I think the, the, the message today is that we need to remember the plight of the rural women. Their plight is more now because the population of rural women is lower compared to men. So I think it's a time to remind ourselves of the big role, the challenge that uh, rural women do have. And uh, what is needed that we need to recognize their role, we need to assist them, they need to be inspired uh, in many ways to ensure that we do not lose that uh, empowerment opportunities and the power of change out there that are within the women. Uh, it is often said the money in the hands of a woman is very different, has a different impact in the money of a hand of a man. Initiatives such as these will provide accessibility to essential services, help develop and enhance rural women to alleviate them out of poverty and be agents of change for the future generations.